If you're looking for the best CPU to pair with your GTX 1650 Super Graphics card, then look no further. In this video, I'll provide an in-depth analysis of the top 5 CPU that are compatible with this GPU. We will also discuss what you need to know before making a decision about which one is right for you. I'll also leave the links to discussed CPU in the description, you can check them for more information and the latest prices. Starting our list with Ryzen 3 3200G Ryzen 3 3200G was launched to replace the 2200G as the new 3rd gen was already out. For those who don't know about it, it can be described as the most powerful APU for under $100. The APU features both the GPU and CPU with enough power that it can help your game without a graphics card. It features 4 cores and 4 threads, which in my opinion is currently the basic requirement in a CPU as games are becoming more and more CPU dependent. This APU is clocked at 3.6 GHz with a boost clock of 4.0 GHz and is overclockable. It features 8 GPU cores, but that's out of the question right now because you're going to use it with the GTX 1650 Super and you will get an ideal performance for 1080p. Although I don't recommend it as the first CPU to be used with this GPU only if you have a limited budget for your CPU if you have bought the GPU. It's around 5% faster than the 2200G and in most of the games you will easily reach 60 plus FPS and in very graphically intensive games you will get around 50-60 FPS for sure. Here is the gameplay of 2200G with GTX 1650 Super, through which you can conclude that you will get even more with the combination of 3200G and GTX 1650 Super. At number 2 it's AMD Ryzen 5 2600. Ryzen 5 2600 is though a previous gen AMD processor. The specs it boasts are nowhere to be found on any processor for just $120. With 6 cores and 12 threads, not only it can support GTX 1650 Super easily, but can become a good match for higher-end graphics cards such as RTX 2060 Super and RX 5700 XD. Due to the release of 3rd Gen Ryzen CPU, the cost of the 2nd Gen CPU has gone down up to a point that they are even cheaper than the cheaper Intel counterparts that have far lower specs although the gaming performance isn't affected that much. Ryzen 2600 features a core clock of 3.4 GHz and a boost clock of 3.9 GHz. It has a 16 MB L3 cache and only 65 watts of TDP. If you want something that should last for a couple of years, then this one is the best cheap option, but if you are only considering gaming then check out the next processors which will cost you more. At number 3 it's Intel Core i5-9400F Intel CPU have really gotten beaten up by AMD latest gen processors in every tier, but the i5-9400F is the only one CPU that beats every AMD processor when it comes to purely gaming. This is because of the fast single core performance and the 6 cores, 6 threads which are enough for modern gaming. For less than $150, i5-9400F is not only powerful but also power efficient. The processor features a TDP of only 65 watts, which is comparable to the 3rd gen Ryzen processors in the mid and high end category, but the new thing in this one is that although it is a locked processor, it features turbo boost technology that takes its core clock from 2.9 GHz up to 4.1 GHz. Though the base clock looks very low, during gaming and other CPU-intensive tasks, the processor will adjust its core clock automatically based on the requirements. At number 4 it's AMD Ryzen 5 3600. AMD Ryzen 5 3600 has been the best processor in 2019 and is still going great. It is the best seller on Amazon and deserves it to be. The processor provides the best value for under $200 and competes directly head-to-head -head with the Intel Core i5-9600K in most of the games, it comes very near to the 9600K in performance, and with some additional improvements like using a higher clocked RAM kit and overclocking, it can even beat it with a small margin. It features 6 cores and 12 threads and is around 10% faster than the 2600X, it has a core clock of 3.6GHz with a boost clock of 4.2GHz. The CPU is overclockable and should be used with a good CPU cooler to maintain consistency and performance. For GTX 1650 Super, 
this is the best match you can get and deserves to be used in your PC build. At number 5 it's AMD Ryzen 7 2700. Ryzen 7 2700 isn't really something that one should go for the GTX 1650 in the first place, but this thing is really really cheap these days with a price less than $1.170. This is even less than the price of Ryzen 5 3600 which has some lower specs than 2700. Ryzen 2700 features 8 cores and 16 threads and a better multitasking operation. Though the gaming performance of Ryzen 5 3600 will be better, Ryzen 2700 will be a better choice with regards to future proofing. It comes with a Wraith Spire LED cooler and it should be enough for cooling it down. It features a core clock of 3.2 GHz with a boost clock of up to 4.1 GHz. It has a TDP of 65 watts and an L3 cache of 16 MB. If the cost of this CPU goes above $200, then do not consider it and buy any one of the above listed ones. But in my opinion, Ryzen 2700 comes to the second position for the recommendation for GTX 1650 Super after Ryzen 5 3600. And with that, we come to the end of our review. I hope this detailed review on the best CPU for GTX 1650 Super helps you to make a better decision.